is recording their 10th walk-off win of the season. Again, Aaron Judge, one of the heroes, again, with that big play in the eighth. Moments ago, he caught up with the media. Aaron, you guys are obviously playing from behind for a while today. It seems like that's been the case recently. Just how difficult is it as an offense when your back is against the wall early? Uh, it, it's tough. You know, you never want to start, you know, trying to dig out of a hole in any game or anything. Um, you know, but Hill came up big for us by putting up some zeros. I know he gave up some runs early, but he settled in and, you know, we were able to get to the bullpen with Heaney and a couple other guys. And uh, he kind of really saved our pin going, you know, six innings for us. And, you know, if you put up some zeros for this offense, you know, we're going we're to get the job done eventually. What did you think of the job Gallo did today? Well, you know, big homer. Um, you know, great plays on defense. Um, now he's, he's been impressive and been, you know, fun to be around, you know, since we acquired him. Man, he's a guy that goes in here, comes in every day ready to work, and um, you just don't know what, you know, what special things he's going to do, you know, any given night. You know, you hit a ball 500 feet, you know, make a diving catch, throw a guy out at home. It's uh, uh, pretty special. So you're looking at the iPad uh, prior to going to the plate in the eighth inning. Just how did that prepare you for that at bat against Colomay? Yeah, just uh, going over, you know, some of his recent outings. Talked with, uh, actually, I was just sitting there kind of really talking with Big G, you know, about his past experience with him, um, you know, what he's seen, and, you know, it's kind of formulated a good game plan. And, you know, then once you step up to the plate and a situation like that, it's time to go out and have some fun. So, uh, you know, just try to get something out over the middle. And, you know, he's a guy that's got, you know, he's got great stuff, you know, stuff with great late action on it, you know, make kind of deceiving, tough to hit. And, you know, I was just able to get one up in the zone. Go next to Bruce Beck. Aaron, did you know the importance of your at bat in this ball game, knowing what's going on in this uh, this race to, to make the playoffs? Did you feel that at all? Uh, no, no. It's you know, every at bat's important. You know, if it's your first at bat to your last at bat in the ninth or extra innings, um, and I try to treat every single one the same. And you know, I knew, you know, the guys in front of me were doing their job. I had to step up and do my job as well. So, can you guys build momentum here? I, th I think so, especially after a win like this, you know, coming from behind, uh, you know, down five runs. Um, kind of build off that, you know, great great outing from our bullpen. You know, Hill settled in. A lot of great at-bats down there in the stretch in the crunch time when we needed it. And, uh, you know, let's keep that rolling into Baltimore. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, you mentioned Hill and, and his effort today. I mean, for a rookie to you know, get hit hard in the first inning like he did and then just to kind of shake that off, what, what does that tell you about this guy? Oh, it's, I noticed that even even his first couple outings, like even, you know, he was, I think, 18 innings scoreless um, against some great ball clubs, too. That's, uh, he, he's got something different about him. You know, I don't know, <laughs> can't tell what it is. I know he's got great stuff, um, but he's just got this, you know, chip on his shoulder. He's got a little bit of attitude, and um, he knows he's a man when he's out there, you know, on the field. You know, when he pads the ball in his hand, he knows he can get the job done. And, you know, when you're playing behind a guy like that, you know, that's, uh, that's who you want to play behind. So it was, uh, you know, uh, right after they gave up a couple first runs, I was like, you know, he's going to settle and he's going to be just fine. Thanks, sir. Go next to Dan Martin. Aaron, uh, Boone told us a little bit about the, you know, the dizziness that you experienced, you know, last night. How, how are you feeling today? And uh, you know, are you concerned about whatever it was that happened to you going forward? I feel better today. Uh, not 100%, but I, I'm not too concerned about it. It just kind of came out of nowhere. You know, I've gotten my bell rung a couple of times in football. That's kind of what it felt like. But, um, you, know, you know, I was kind of hoping it would pass. You know, that's why I kept trying to, you know, beg and <laughs> plead to stay in the game and, you know, let me, you know, finish it out. But, uh, you know, feeling better today and, you know, hopefully even better the next day.